It's been about 11 months since I last uploaded a YouTube tutorial. Hopefully I'll have some more time now to start making regular uploads. Today I will be presenting part 1 of a multi-part tutorial showing the modelling of this scene. This image was intended to be an A4 sized poster. I created it in about 30 minutes from start to finish including renderings. The image consists of three main basic components. The checkerboard, the chess pieces and the particle system. In this first tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to texture nodes by showing you how I created the checkerboard pattern used in the image. So let's get started. First I'm going to open up Blender and set up the scene. I'm going to delete the default cube and add in a nice plane. I'm going to scale that up to about 8 just so it fills up the grid. And then I'm going to target the camera at the plane using a damped track constraint. Select both the plane and the camera, selecting the camera first, and then Control T, Damped Track Constraint. Next, I'm going to open up the compositing workspace, and I'm going to start editing with nodes. So to do that, I'm going to create a new material on the plane, then I'm going to add a new texture, and then over in the main compositing window, I'm going to select Use Nodes for the texture. The first change I'm going to make to the current texture node setup is I'm going to make it a black and white checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to click on the red colour and I'm going to change that to a nice black. I'm going to show you a couple of different nodes in this tutorial, but first I'm going to add a bit of noise to the checkerboard. If I was to render it at the moment, it would just come out as a very flat looking checkerboard with a black and white checker pattern. So first I want to add some noise to the normal of the checkerboard. To do this I'm going to go Shift A for Add and then I'm going to select Textures, Noise and I'm going to add that in. I'll wire up the new node to the normal of the output node and then I'll go over to the right side of my screen in the texture section I'll scroll down to where the influence tab is and I'll select normal. Currently the checkerboard pattern on the checkerboard is fairly large. There's only a few squares on the plane. What I want to do to fix that is I want to change the size of the checkerboard pattern. I can do this in two ways. One is I can adjust the size manually on the checkerboard node or two is I can show you another type of node in order to change the size. Because this is a node tutorial, I'm going to use the latter. The first thing I'm going to do is go Shift Add to add a new node, and then I'm going to select Distort and then Scale. I'm going to drag this new node in between the checkerboard node and the output node. Notice how the line connecting these two nodes automatically joins into the new node. To provide the input to the scale node, I could use a number of methods. I could use a nice sine wave, I could use a texture like a noise pattern or something, or I could use a coordinate, a texture coordinate. But what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use a math operator with a simple number going straight into the scale input in the scale node. The final change I want to make to the current node setup is to add in another texture node to increase the depth of the current image. So I want to go Shift Add and then I want to select Texture and I want to add a Marble Texture node. I'm just going to add that off to the side for the moment. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new node called the Mix node. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Shift Add, select Color, select Mix Node, and I'm going to add that in between Checkerboard and the Scale Node. Then what I'll do is I'll link in the Marble Node by connecting the output of the Marble to one of the inputs of the Mix Node. I'll just make a few more adjustments and then that will be it.